taxi right now. I'm going to take the cable car up and then hike this mountain. I know very little about it. Um, Stopped. And now we are swimming. It is hike time. Um, I think it's about a six mile hike. I'm not sure because everything is in meters. Everyone out here has uh, trekking poles. I saw one guy with a helmet. All right, this side says um, this route demands an intermediate level of experience in mountaineering, otherwise, the guide of an expert mountaineer is required. And never leave alone. Also, I saw a girl turn around because she said there's lightning. Can you be in the clouds if there's lightning? Like, is it gonna strike everything? I need to go back to fourth grade. Okay. Okay. I did not, I did not read the trail description on all trails because I just came up this this was the trail that I just went on. That is, oh, ooh. okay. And um, am I in hiking shoes? No, but my shoes are cute, but they're not hiking shoes. And I just grappled with these trees and like lowered myself down. I see why that man had a helmet. Slidey trail, like one foot forward, three steps back, for real. Fun updates, you can't even see where I came from. I look horrible also, but um, rain has turned into a freezing rain. All right, quick view from the top. My hands are so cold. My toes are wet. It turned into the Arctic up here. I am going home. I'm going home. Oh my God, what? All right, not gonna lie, I did slip up there. Look at my little frozen toes. Cool. I have chilled out. I no longer think I'm going to die. I can feel my hands again. Um, and I will say, this is not the first time that I have accidentally hiked myself into a little sleet storm. And the classic Joyce Johnson move after that is like when the ground gets kind of nice like this, um, I turn into a trail runner and I haven't run in like months, um, but something about being freezing and wanting to die and a deep desire to get back to the car um, makes me a runner. So there I was cranking down the mountain um, and my Garmin sent an emergency alert to my mother automatically um, because I think it thought that I fell off the mountain and I was dying. So um, I really hope it didn't go through. It would be very bad. <laughs> so if you're seeing this, mom, I love you. I'm okay. I'm not dead. Oh, that's nice. There's an option to take a horse. That would have been cool. Okay. All right, I survived. I don't know if you can tell, but look at this one little space between my leggings and my shoe. And that is where they hurt me. I will now keep in mind to read trail descriptions and know that this was in fact a mountain. I am in the mountains. I was not doing a chill girl vibe. Lessons learned everywhere. I deserve a nice dinner, so um, I'm going to a place called Somo. I'm supposed to be really good and doing a tasting menu, um, which I might fully document depending on how it is. Oh my god, it's sober January. I'm sorry. The chef just came over and showed me um, a thing of larvae like squiggling around and says that they're using Amazon products. I really need to learn Spanish first of all. Um, am I going? Mm, okay. Is that on the menu? I do not want to taste. I do not want to taste that. That is the oven roasted version of the larva that he just showed me. Didn't know I signed up for all of this with the tasting menu. Oh my god. It's the head is looking at me. Got my first little bite of Amazonian insect larva. Okay, wait, that's really not bad. I was being dramatic. That's nice. All right, rest of the meal was less eventful, no more insects. Um, did have like guinea pig and some other things that I forgot to record. <laughs> 